Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. <laughs> I just want to go over a really cool feature which has been embedded into the updated online service for a while now but is just seriously awesome and that is uh, apps, okay? I want to just go over apps a little bit more today and tell you why I think in terms of a way to distribute information um, throughout your organizations but also just to manage many different reports and many different insights being generated by many different people it's the most effective tool for this now now microsoft have gone through many iterations within the online service and to me they've finally finally landed on a a suitable way to consolidate information effectively and get it out to to the key stakeholders uh, really quickly Okay, they went through many iterations and at one point I wasn't even using dashboards because I just thought that was so pointless. Um, but because you could create your um, you could create your own reports that looked like a dashboard, right? But now that we have apps, I think there's a there, there is a simple workflow that enables you to um, work around the online service and quickly navigate to the key consolidated information or the key approved information that you might have within your organization. So I've already created one. There is the, the only the only sort of major restriction I see, which I, th I hope that they will fix, is that you can only actually create one app per workspace at the moment. That is the the, the one thing that I think is a, is a little bit annoying. But hopefully hopefully they'll listen to feedback. I'm sure I'm not the only one that doesn't like that, um, and enables you to create many diff different apps because some reports you know because. I guess you know they're, they're not taking into account that some people who work in a certain workspace um, or, or in, in, a, in a work have workspaces right they might work in say like finance but within finance you could be across many different areas within a business right it's not just like the certain silo and so you want to be able to create different apps for different people within you know your different stakeholders within that team um, so that's that's one thing that could improve but Let's have a look at how you do it. So I've already created an app already for this particular workspace, right? So say for instance, I went to one that I didn't, um, I didn't have an app. Oh no, I have one there as well. Uh, let's just go to this one here. So you'll see here, um, you, you would generally get published app, right? If you, um, if you don't have an app created in a particular workspace. Then when you do have one created in a particular workspace, like in my web showcase one, I can turn on certain elements in my dashboard area and my reports area to be included in the app, okay? And it's very easy for me to add or take out certain reports that might be inside of a particular workspace and place them into the app, into the centralized app, which is a consolid... Think about it, it's just consolidating all of the key information, all the key reports that you might have sitting within a workspace. It's bringing them all up into this one... Um, central application that you can then distribute to or to say your management group or your or senior leaders or 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 to whoever is is, is interested in that particular um, is, is a stakeholder for that particular um, reporting that you're doing right because what I think what's happened in the past is that and, and I've seen this a couple of times when I've worked with 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 some clients on this is that you know these can get really messy and then um, when someone comes in who's not familiar with it all and um, they can get overawed by you know what is um, being showcased to them so being able to place it into something so simple and effective to then go and view is a really good idea okay and so you can turn on and turn off things um, inside your app so if I say did something I can go update app and what that does is it takes me back to this really intuitive area where we can the app might already be named might already have a description you can place a support site you can also um, place a logo in here you can actually have colors for your themes as well maybe we, we might want to change it to um, let's go a lighter shade of blue right and then what I like here is how, how you can manipulate the navigation of your app right so I've got I've got a dashboard which I created in here for my app I also have a range of different reports sitting underneath here right and I can very quickly uh, move these around based on how I want these to show because what's going to what you're going to see in a second within the app is that we can click on a report and then very quickly navigate to any page in that report right and then just think about all of the insights that you can consolidate into one app that a user can see I mean it's 
pretty phenomenal really it's just out of this world and you can throw it together so quickly i mean i just i just i just cringe when i think back to two days where you had to like use powerpoint to consolidate information from excel you know it's just like there's no comparison to how quickly you can get things done now utilizing something like this right because a, a big part of of extracting insights is actually representing them, showcasing them, um, you know, sending them out to to people to make decisions on. Right, that, that's that, that's a big part of what has been missing historically. But Power BI, the online service, it has always facilitated that. But I, I think now even more with how how these apps operate. Okay, and then we can, you know, change change a few. You know, we can change uh, many many different minor things, but. The key here is, is to you can update the app depending on uh, we can we can actually we've got a, a web link we can utilize as well um, and we can also go to the app like this and I'm hoping that some of you have already used this if not this is you know and, and if you're just getting into Power BI this is this is something you want to utilize right you want you want to th sort of think with the end game in mind okay because not only do I have I can have a sort of dashboard of key information here right. I can so easily now just navigate to key key parts of my report. So say for instance, I've got some account receivable information. I can just click on that and, the, and within the same experience, I can then drill into, you know, that specific insight, right? And I can drill into whatever, whatever, cac, whatever insights or, or whatever results, you know, we need to look at um, for um, this particular you know, report. Right, and this is just one of many. So we could we could jump down to another layer here where we might want to have a look at, say, what do we got here? Some revenue insights, right? I could then jump to my revenue insights, and then we can have a look at our our, our, our revenues or however however we've set up this particular dashboard. And the ease in which you can just jump in and out of particular reports here is is very very good. I think I, I want to, you know, I really think we should com commend Microsoft and listen to feedback and um, the confusion around how this was actually set up before um, and now created this really intuitive way um, to manage the online service you know effectively there's 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 this this in terms of impact this is by far um, one of the best updates i've seen on the online service so yeah look i hope, hope i'm sure they'll keep improving it um, it's really exciting the direction they've gone with this and and you can even see this integrating really well into the microsoft suite you know things like um you know potentially more so into you know your outlook or into microsoft teams or power apps or you know whole raft of different things there's there's a lot of like really cool ways that this could be extended even further so so really really excited around how um you know the direction in which it's going and and also you can also you know utilize some of the other features up here right like you can ex export things into powerpoint into pdfs these are just phenomenal now you can do email subscriptions you know you can add comments etc so just so many cool little updates here right and it all it is centered around this app functionality which which um, is really taking things to the next level okay so just a bit of an overview there um, hopefully you're utilizing this as well um, if not jump into it really really um, you know, incorporate this into your um, analytics program you know this is what's going to really build that data culture within your teams okay um, hopefully you like this one don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Just got so much awesome content coming out to you. Um, really focusing on it um, this year. So we want to get that into your hands as soon as we can. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, uh, if, you, if you like the video, throw it a like. Really appreciate it as always. Okay, all the best.